everybody, DIB Sports. I want to talk about the whole Elton Brand being a general manager for the 76ers. This is a shocking move in my opinion because I was expecting like someone who's an executive for a couple years or in the business world, you know, somebody who's wanted to continue the Sam Hinky plan, which honestly I disagree with it. I'm not a big trust the process type of guy. I know a lot of trust the process people have been riding that for five years, but I mean, yeah, they got a good team. Uh, but I don't really, I just, I'm not a big fan of it. But anyway, I thought they were going to get somebody in, you know, uh, executive, uh, someone who's been in the league for quite some time. But instead, they picked Helton Brand. So this is a left field type of move to me because he's a former player, which is pretty good. But at the same time, he has no experience in drafting, trades, the business aspect of the NBA so it's gonna be very interesting now he's not stupid I mean the man went to Duke so you know he's smart and he, he so you gotta be smart to get in Duke you can't be no dummy now Kyrie Irving that's a whole different story I, I don't know how he got into Duke you are thinking the earth is flat but other than that the players in Duke are usually intelligent so okay so you got a Duke background He's been in the league. He's been in the league for a few years, for a long time. Um, he went to the. He was on the Clippers for a while, on the Bulls, and then also he was on the 76ers himself. So he bounced around the league. He had a decent career. Will he be a Hall of Famer? Probably not. But he was a decent player in his own right. So this will be a very interesting move. I just wish the 76ers drafted uh, better. Uh, this year. I didn't think they drafted well. Uh, the Mikhail Bridges move was one of the worst moves I think I ever seen. Now, it's yet to be seen, but I just have a weird feeling. I think Mikhail Bridges is going to be a solid player for the Suns, and it's a shame that a kid from Pennsylvania went to Villanova in the city that the 76ers play, ended up being traded because because uh, Brett Brown wanted some guy from Texas uh, Tech that can dunk but can't shoot. I don't understand that. Oh, we can play defense. No, I don't care. You can teach defense. You can't teach shooting and, and skills. So the fact that they did this move, I, I just did that move with the trade. I thought it was silly. So now they got GM finally. I just want to know what he's going to bring to the table. What is he going to do? Is he going to make some good moves for to support Ben Simmons? Is he going to make some good moves to support Joe MB? All they really need right now, the 76ers, is to develop what they have now and add one more piece. They're missing that one piece. And I really thought Mikael Bridges would have been perfect because he would have been a shooter. He would have been a good defender. He would have given at least between, right now, 14 to 17 points a game. I'm telling you, that kid can shoot. So the fact that he's not there and he picked this other guy, who's going to take that role? That's the missing piece of the 76ers. Now, if Ben Simmons can build Zell with a, a jump shot, then that team is good. But the, the whole thing is, Elton Brand, like a no experience, like GM. I think that is a a a risky move. Um, so hopefully Elton Brand brings some element that can help the Sixers elevate to a championship team. Um, they have the pieces, they have the young pieces already. So Elton Brand, he doesn't have to do much. All he has to do is tweak here, tweak here, maybe do a good trade here, a little draft there, and maybe Sixers get that championship since first one since 1983. But I think this is a weird move. I just, I, I'm not really, I'm not really feeling a 76ers move lately, so, eh. We'll wait and see. I just hope you don't be like Billy King and sign massive contracts to mediocre players. Just don't do that. I think we'll be set. But that's, I don't know. We'll wait and see.